So a few weeks ago, I had the great pleasure of suffering through some of the world's worst gaming ads known to mankind. And when I say these were bad, oh, bro, they were so egregious that for whoever played a hand in creating that nonsense, God himself will be auto vetoing any attempts to get into heaven. Anyways, um, little did I know that while I was researching and gathering clips for my last video, uh, good old Papa Google was tracking and gathering data on every single last one of my YouTube searches. And it now thinks that I am a no life stinked out mobile game demon that lives in his mom's basement. And while half that generalization may or may not be true. I am unfortunately stuck with this shit playing before I can watch my Duke Dennis best Riz moments of 2024 videos. And I figured, you know, if I'm gonna suffer through waiting on the skip ad button, I might as well at least try to capitalize on this shit. So y'all know what that means, man. Yeah, you're gonna be stuck watching this shit with me as well. Roll the clip. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we making horse role play ads, bro? Oh, what is going on? Like genuinely, who is seeing the horse get freaky with the town harlot and say, I must download this game now. Hey yo, what the fuck? Actually, in don't answer that question. Um, I know somebody's freaky ass unk just saw that clip and is slobbering like a big bag nigga at a two o'clock brunch right now. But what's even more crazy is that the ad just then swaps over to some generic copy paste solve the problem situation where they either make the worst decisions possible or the outcome of the action just makes literally no sense at all. Like dude breaks the window and somehow Protag gets the old gooner arm and instead of giving him the sword to put freaky Maximus down, it somehow gains the aura of Excalibur itself, destroys the table, making him even more of a creature. Niggas in the writing room for this saw skips from regular show and said, you know, hey, what if we make him a green cuck? Cause good golly, all that rage and nothing went to your legs. Like everything just up here. Like, I don't know. Let me just pray for you. But keeping up with the trend for just terrible decisions. They just shove a TNT thing into the fire and just leaves bro booty butt ass naked while he's getting cucked by a bare belly horse. That just might be a fate worse than death. Like I genuinely don't know how I can continue my days after going through something like that. I ain't gonna lie, man. Nigga like me would just go retire to a mountain and become like a month or something. But hey, what's up guys? It's Nax here. And um, this is like my first actual video since hitting 10K, which you know, it feels so surreal as hell to say, honestly. 10K, 10 racks. That's like if you take a thousand Thousand and then like ten of them, then ten thousand. Oh, that make that make that makes sense. That that make a lot of sense. But in all seriousness, ten thousand in little over a year is fucking nuts, dude. Like I'm still wrapping my head around. Like, I wanted to get a bit out sooner, but after I came home from vacay and consumed American food again, um, let's just say my body treated it like it was a chemical war zone. But I'm cool now, and I just wanted to say, you know, thank you guys again, truly from the bottom of my heart, man. Like that, like it, it means so 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 much like i i'm terrible with words even though i'm a commentary youtube but like i'm it means a lot i ain't got alcohol on deck but um here's to hitting that next big milestone soon and you can help me out by liking and subbing up to the video man because we gonna we go we going stupid this year i'm getting bottom of the stupid down the avenue stupid and speaking of stupid um like i said earlier my dumbass didn't turn on incognito while looking at clips or none of that for the previous mobile game ad video which has led me down a very ominous and really really weird rabbit hole of ads for this game called hero wars and you know the more i see it the more i just say to myself who the hell is playing this bullshit like their whole marketing campaign appears to be based upon making the most grungy and fetishized ads possible just to fester in freaks and yeah i'm gonna just say it's a lot of freaky ass frogs looking at this shit and just rushing to the app store with their phone in one hand and cock and balls in the other because what else do you expect when this is your ad that you're showing off on youtube like bro off rip they have more titty jiggle physics than anything else going on in this flashed out animation they are quite visibly just targeting short niggas who have a giant ass fetish at this point like it is so blatantly obvious and later in the same ad they just have a segment where it's literally just feet like there's a foot taking up 70 percent of the screen and i just gotta know what what does this have to do with your game please explain to me so that i know i'm not the one tweeting like what is going on here and you know on one hand i just i really just gotta respect the hustle it's a free and easy market just to cater to gooners like you put in a woman voice filter tell a gooner to jump and they will ask you how high but then you know i snap back into reality and realize that this content is being shoved down the throats of innocent bystanders. I kid you not, I spun up an incognito tab as an experiment and did a few unrelated surges and guess what popped up? I got flashbang grenaded with this over-sexualized Hero Wars ad. Like bro, come on now, how is YouTube allowing this to be an ad on their system? Shorty is literally just lady gooning right now. And YouTube is just fine with this being played in front of videos. These are actual YouTube ads. And to top it all off, the bright vivid colors and simplistic art style is mighty appealing to kids. And you know, that's not me saying that the kids are the main demographic for these ads. Well, I would at least 
least hope not. We can't really put anything past grown adults at this point. But seeing as though we have seen people Trojan horse their fetishized content into kids media before, this just can't be ignored. Like bro, this monstrosity not only had to get approved by the company's PR team, but it also had to get signed off for funding. You know what guards, find the creature responsible and bring them to me now. No, 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 don't hide your hands. I just want to talk buddy. And like I said earlier, as well as the last video, when it's not over sexualization, the ads are set up so that whoever is playing is just being an idiot and doing the complete wrong thing at all times. And that's because these ads are psychologically designed to attack you from all different angles just to get you to download the game. Every single ad made for not only this game, but for like literally all of them, the gameplay looks like it's coming from a caveman smashing a rock at the screen. Especially with the Hero Wars ads, like all you have to do is not attack the number that is bigger than you. Like there is no strategy, no optimization, just less than, greater than. It is simple math. It is so easily presented that I swear the Gen Alpha kids can do it. Hey Kevin, do me a favor, what's 12 minus three? You, what, you can, you do. Hey, you know what, you know what? Scratch that last thought. Anyways, my point is you get so annoyed that you literally download the game just to prove how not dumb you are. It's Rage Bait, the same technique that Red Pillars used to get niggas to comment on their dumbass TikToks. So you end up downloading the game, playing for five minutes, all while getting butt by the ads and then you realize, oh shit, wait, hold on. I'm getting scammed. And I know the method for the rage bait because I'm be honest, I'm a victim. It may not have been for this game in particular, but it's been some nights on Instagram. I've been scrolling and them games be looking mighty enticing. They be looking fun as hell. I download them shits. I'm like, you know, this is the one that's going to be different. And let me tell you, it is never different. You download that bad boy and it's like unleashing Pandora's box of ad hell on you. But anyways, I got curious and I wanted to know, you know, what does Hero Wars actually look like? Like how does this game actually play? So I looked up some of the gameplay and just to find out that this is what it is. That's that's it. Just just sit your phone down and the game plays itself. Bro, if I wanted to watch a video game play itself, I just go boot up my PS5 and throw Spider-Man 2 on. Anyways, after saying that, I'm like 99.99999% certain that almost all the budget for these games goes to the ad and just not making the game. Because again, this is all the game has to offer. I, I you know, I was in actual disbelief. I downloaded it myself and it, it it's just that. This is quite literally just boneless raid Shadow Legends, but instead of playing it, you watch it. How do you lose the plot that that hard. But I will say there is the little puzzle shit that's in the ads, but it's tucked away in like a little corner and nowhere near the main gameplay of the game. But you know, it is there. And I guess that's the reason these fuckers are getting sued into oblivion yet because you know, it's it's technically there. But again, people want this as the main game and not whatever the hell it actually is. Plus just like looking at the home screen, it is on its hands and knees just mouth gate ready to suck the schmeckles out of your wallet. Microtransactions are just like squirting all over the place. Like this is just a money scheme. Like this is a money grab, which is sad because like mobile games have genuinely fallen off. Like, do you guys remember where they're like actual games? Like we used to have that Spider-Man game. We had like Fruit Ninja, all, all those classic games where you didn't need to spend that much money. These new games, you can't do shit without min-maxing every single aspect imaginable. And I haven't played Hero Wars myself, so I can't confidently say that's how that game operates. But you know, looking at the reviews, <laughs> I don't know gang. Like I don't mind y'all pumping out a few ads, but for the love of God, at least make it accurate to what your game actually is. And they know people want to play that specific part of the game because that is all they advertise. It is nothing else. These niggas genuinely got me wanting to throw hands. Like, I'm, mm, mm, matter of fact, hey, hey, 1K likes on this video and I will find a way to become the CEO of this company and shut it down from the inside. Anyways, um, that's going to do it for me with this video. Um, This vid felt a little bit weird to record, so I'm interested to see how it comes out. Hopefully it's good. If not, my fault. Thank you guys again for 10K subs, man. Like this truly, truly, truly means the world to me. Like this YouTube shit genuinely is like one of the three things that's like keeping my soul happy and just knowing that like i'm making my dreams come true and like things are happening like it it puts a smile on my face man and y'all are just as much a part of this journey as i am man because without y'all i would not be here so again like I, all i can do is thank y'all like thank you but with that being said man make sure you guys like the video if you liked it subscribe because you made this far into the video and you clearly like me check out all my socials link below and i'm out of here man love y'all be safe peace peace